But in this question, it's really important as you've watched the videos before is to really think about the meaning of positive and negative acceleration. So you're gonna drag like positive or negative or zero into each of these boxes. So we've got an elevator moving downward. All right, so the elevator is moving downward. So, and then someone pushes the emergency stop button and it slows down. So really what it comes down to is defining the definition of positive and negative. Generally speaking, the elevator is, the acceleration is, what is the velocity? The velocity is going to be what? So it depends on if up is positive and down is negative. Um, hmm. <laughs> I have to think about this one because uh, it's going to be opposite is what you're going to have. So generally speaking, up is positive and down is negative. So the velocity is the velocity is still moving in this direction. I think you can figure out what the direction of that is, and that also causes, but if he's slowing down, his velocity is changing in the opposite sign. I'll let you think about that, all right? And then we do the same type of questions on B and C, complete the sentence below by dragging the whatever, right? Immediately after the ball leaves a child's hand, all right, so the ball is thrown directly upward, right? So in this case, the ball is thrown upwards, and, uh, Again, defining the positive and the negative makes a difference. Okay, and then you can solve that problem. And the same thing with this one. He throws the uh, ball upwards, the same type of question, but the very top of the ball, what's the velocity, right? Because what's the ball going to do? It's going to go up, and then it's going to fall back down. But at this point, what's its velocity, and then what is its acceleration? That's the key thing to understand. Um, and uh, this is a tricky question. I bet a lot of you will have to do this multiple times. Make sure in class that you ask me questions about this question so that I can explain it if you still don't understand. You can guess and check if you get the answer. I know that. But make sure that you understand the question. That's key.